kind of give us some differences in owner occupied versus investment loans financing. I know, you know, for instance, a mortgage rate is usually a little higher. Just give us kind of kind of bullet points of, you know, yeah, I'll give you a generalized background. Um, we can go into some other things later about specifics, but but the biggest thing you have to know is even on the residential side, owner occupied is always going to be less expensive and a better interest rate. Um, you also have lower down payment options available as well as lower FICO uh, scores available for owner occupied compared to investment properties. Another large difference is as investment property, the banks want to see, especially in the COVID market with what you guys just touched base on, um, they're going to want to see a little bit more in reserve right now um, just because of, uh, you know, the ability not to uh, evict tenants and stuff like that. So owner occupied, I always say, is, is usually about 1% to 1.5% less uh, in interest rate. Um, and your expenses are usually about 25% less on the owner occupied versus the investment side. So um, again, we can get into some program differences when you guys want to here, but uh, on specifics, but that's why it's so important um, to know the difference if you're going to live in a place, especially for six months, and then eventually flip it uh, to an investment to take care of that early. 